back home, baby, won't you let me in? I've been living in original sin, I'm dying. I wrote that song. King of Rock and Roll. It is not available on iTunes. It's not available anywhere but a barbershop podcast. It's like 17 years old, that song. First thing I ever wrote, Catherine Street North, Jack Peddler on drums, Mike Williams singing, and on bass, Clayton Sample from the Rock and Highliners on guitar, Keith Lindsay on the keys, Tinkling It Away, and uh, Glenn Marshall running the two-inch tape machine. The only thing I ever recorded on tape, kind of busted my cherry as a songwriter, and you get to hear it every week on Barbershop Podcast. A little piece of history, a little piece of history that you get every week. We are the blast furnace of music, original music, great music, certainly in Canada, and they know it. The Junos are here this week. We know it. There's many of us who understand and appreciate that music needs to be celebrated on a regular basis, perhaps more than once a year, and perhaps, you know, understood that it is essential like air and like food music is something that is essential to your daily diet support it you know foster it in your children in your friends if people like bad music help them out you know you need to help them out you know just don't shun them don't look away help them with some real music say you know I'm gonna put this in my CD player we're gonna go for a drive in the country and you're gonna fucking dig it and it's true Ryan Cannon, Gary Greenland, are you in as good a mood as I am? Excellent. I would. Like, what What was it? Like, nine, maybe even ten today? I don't know. Who was tropical? I was out my speedo and you were full speedo and today. <laughs> and you made it on time because you were speedy in your speedo. Coming down here. No, it's been a very cold, cruel winter here in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. I don't know where probably where you are in the rest of the world. It wasn't the greatest a year, period. But we try to do something a little shiny once a week and bring you a little bump. It certainly helps me. And I'm thrilled that we have uh, someone who I uh, appreciate as an artist and as a person. Uh, Everyone in their band are great people who have been in here before, either with other bands or as part of this group. It is uh, someone who is uh, one of the cornerstones of Hamilton, Hamilton Music. Someone who comes from the country with a city sensibility. If you can't believe it, you're going to find out it's true. Ginger St. James, welcome back to Barbershop Podcast. How are you doing? Well, I'm great. I'm great. I know. It's fantastic, you know? I know. Yeah. yeah did, like, you, did you open some windows today? I did. I even <laughs> went outside. Can you believe it? A lot of us <laughs> like haven't been outside for a while. It's true. I looked at myself in a couple windows. And I'm so pasty. I'm glowing. I'm ghost-like. Well, not for long. Not for long. It doesn't take long. I'll get that nice Irish red on me. You know, uh, <laughs> six days till my birthday. St. Patrick's oh. Day next week. Next time you see, we have Sammy Morali on the show. It'll be a day after my birthday. I will not be this bright and shiny. <laughs> That's for sure. But as I said, Juno's in town. Juno Fest. There's music all over the city of Hamilton. We had to do you proud and showcase some one. Uh, you came on the show before with Slim. You played as a duo, and I'll just kind of touch on a few things. Legitimately a country girl, and a lot of people who watch us from outside of this area don't understand, although in Canada we're one of the industrial areas. We're built up uh, for the industry, and there's a lot of housing. There's a lot of urban development, secondary industry, but stone throw from, you know, all the centers of, of, of industry and center is legitimate farmland. There is country. There's real country with corn and wheat and horses and pigs and, and, and cows too. And you were like, you were, you were part of that. This is, this isn't (laughs) something you invented, right? No, no, it's totally part of it. And I loved it. I loved it so much. Like going to the farm with my dad and hanging out with the horses and hearing the country radio on. I just, I don't know. There's certain scents that you, you may smell in the country that might turn people off. And I'm like, Oh, here yeah, I'm in the country. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people. I'm like that with diesel. You know, I smell diesel, and it's like to me, it's a, it's a good, it's a, it's a good smell. Uh, <laughs> and you, you come here with Slim. Slim, you are country picking. You've got the Telecaster uh, clicked up to the tweed tonight. Yes. You got a big smile on your face. You like playing with this girl. She absolutely. Uh, she, yeah. She. She. Uh, you guys play very well together in step, and. Uh, really want to showcase you know what we've got to offer and uh, you're going to hear not only what we have live but some great recordings and something off of ginger's latest uh diesel and peas a great record uh she's brought mr greg briscoe on keys how you doing greg Oh, Mr. Burr. That's good. Like last time you were here, I could tell you were like struggling because you had you were with the dinner bells and you had to play the accordion. And, and I like, had a cold. Uh, I was, and, and, I, 
And it was a fresh accordion too, so it was creaky. It wasn't all worked in over yep. 35 years. And you're like, I hope this isn't the only time I'm on the show and That's people me. don't understand that this is not the instrument that I play every day. <laughs> well, that's true. But I was also having, I, I had a cold. Uh, so if anyone wants to go look at that episode, you'll see me. I was so dazed. Uh, and it might happen again tonight uh, where I didn't realize because the cameras are a little small. So I had picked a point to In focus space. and it just so happened to be a camera. <laughs> and, and as I'm playing, I'm expressionless. It's probably the best and closest, if I was a serial killer, what I would look like, you know. It's just dreadful. This is, this is the good stuff about Barbershop Podcasts because we share the pain equally yeah. <laughs> amongst all of us. There, you know, we rise and fall together, and, and, and I'm so proud of that. And uh, Tom Lamontang, who's been in here, you know, and always, always such a pleasure Uh uh, you, you like playing with ginger, I imagine. Yeah. Like yeah. that's a pocket you can kind of set up house in, yeah, that isn't nice it? Country two step. Yeah, and is that oh, something yeah. that you were like came to natural, or was that a, uh, a taught uh, skill? On uh, a little bit. I kind of got it from like like blues background for me, so it kind of helped me out with figuring it out eventually. But no, just kind of. Kind of a feel. Yeah, it's nice when it gets, it's, it's put out, right? When yeah. someone doesn't have to think too much, it's like I got to use all of the right part of my brain for this job <laughs> yeah. at hand. So we're going to talk about Ginger. We're going to talk about the band. We're going to talk about what she's been doing, what she's going to be doing. We're gonna, God knows what we're going to talk about. We're certainly <laughs> going to talk about her new record, Diesel, never know. Diesel and Peas. But uh, what do we do best here at Barbershop Podcast? We showcase live music because you can't be scared of coming down to the big bad downtown. You can't be scared of going out a little bit in the country somewhere. If you see someone, a name you recognize, you can pick up the newspaper, View Magazine, Hamilton Spectator. Anywhere on the old internet, just put in live Hamilton music and, and search and go out and see some live music because what you're going to hear in your living room or on your phone or in your, on your computer is just a little taste of what you can get live. And when you feel it shaking through your body, there's nothing like it. Puts a smile on your face. Certainly does to me every Wednesday. And we got a good taste of it right now here, barbershoppodcast.com. Make my way just the same And I could fly like a bird In the sky above the world But nothing can compare To a boxcar and a prayer
Oh, yeah. Train whistle. Ginger St. James. And we've got the grinders. We've got a version of the grinder. What are we doing here? Yeah, here. We're yeah. For sure. For it sure. Out. I mean, we change our names all the time. Some aren't, some aren't even appropriate to repeat. Actually. I know. The, some <laughs> of the best ones are inappropriate to repeat. Came up with, I, we talked about that. How many bands we've had to form merely because we came up with a great name. It's oh, like, I'm yeah. I'm now duty I have to I have to form a band around this name now. Some great great names over a couple beers over the years. But Ginger St. James, that's a name you got to remember. She is countryfied, country blues. What's your elevator pitch when someone talks to you and they meet you in a bar or in a hotel or when you've done gone down to Austin or gone down to Nashville and you've done the thing, you realize there's a sell job that has to be done, that there's people going to see through me in a second if I'm too glommy and grabby, stupid. What's your pitch? Awesome. Who are you? Oh, Ginger St. James. We do country blues and rock and roll. It's a rowdy party. And uh, for anybody who's 10 to 110, hopefully, shake and shimmy. That's exactly. You know, it's a party. Exactly. 10 rowdy to 110. Party. A rowdy party. And truly, a bunch of kids who are like eight years old would dance around. Sure they would. Have a fantastic time. And if you're a 75-year-old person who hasn't felt that kind of joy <laughs> through you, it, and if you're out in a bar and you want to dance with your girl, it's also great music, great tunes. Hey, thanks. <laughs> Let's talk about some of the influences. Obviously, they're there. Oh, yeah. the greats, you know. Um, and... People tend to understand that uh, kind of a musical uh, integrity comes later in life. You tend to go through your cheesy, awful music early <laughs> years, but not everyone. A lot of people have cool parents know. or cool older uh, siblings who who introduce them to good music early. Like, how, how did you come a, a, a across really the cornerstone and root? Well, music? I mean, that's what's great about this group. I mean, of, of all people who... I like to play with is that it was embedded kind of in their heads probably from a very young age like myself. Uh, I grew up, I spent a lot of time with my nanny and granddad and they listened to big band. Uh, my nanny would always order the, uh, you know, the musicals from Time Life all yep. the time. So I had a Something never ending amount. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, oh boy, break a dune. Okay. You know, Clamity Jane. So or, the pageantry you know. was always part of it. I loved you. Yeah. it. I mean, I'd be putting yeah. on shows yeah. myself, you know, on the front porch and, and charging then, five cents. <laughs> yeah. And, and people begrudge that and don't understand that, no, this is, you are, you know, it's like if you want to come out in your, in your cargo yeah. shorts and your greasy t shirt yeah. and read your fucking diary you know and you're wondering and no one gives a shit that's because of that you know it's like people want a show yeah i mean and it also like my nanny and granddad my <coughs> father uh going to the barn and then 820 cham would be on and then he, i also went to car shows with him so yep. there was like rock and roll right there um my mom um you know she went to girl guides and girl scouts uh, so there's always uh campfire music i'd like to say that i am the queen of campfire songs yep um, also, uh, my, what? my grade six music teacher and I hated school and, uh, he came and he was just supposed to be a substitute. His name is Mr. C. We called him is uh, Mr. Callahill. And, uh, he just scrapped the book and said, you guys are going to learn to sing some Led Zeppelin today. And he brought in microphones and everything. And the cool thing was that it turned out he lived across the street from me. So when I was 10, I recorded my very that first way. song. Yes. And I'm going to go <laughs> record with him tomorrow, ah. which is super cool. So. Your time is gonna come. Right there, it's true. The words of Led Zeppelin. But Prophetic. I think all these guys, you know, had it already. Like they did. They were yeah, they had born it in their DNA. It, you know? They could yeah. not. They could not escape it. Yeah. But you know what? It's kind of like a uh, sixth sense when you're in the musical world. If someone vibrates on the same frequency as you, you know pretty quickly. And I don't think anyone's looking to be embarrassed or put out. And if they and like they won't subject. Some people will subject themselves to you if they're not in step with what you're doing. But usually, if someone comes up to you and goes, "I love what you're doing," you know, I'd love to jam with you. Sometimes you're like. You know, I'm going to assume that you know, you get the gist of what I'm doing. Let's talk about Diesel and Peas. Now, the great story, and I'm going to, I'm going to paraphrase, I'm going to do the Reader's Digest version. I asked her when you were on, it's like you were just doing it at the time. I said, what's with the, the name Diesel and Peas? You go, well, you know, country girl. I was out there having a good time and waiting because uh, I was waiting for someone who was late and I was a little pissed off. And so I'm riding up and down on my uh, four wheeler on the big long driveway. It's 100 miles long. And uh, my dad was there. And uh, I looked over my shoulder because something caught my attention or whatever the deal was. The thing rolled at a fairly high rate of speed. And you had some abrasions and some contusions and some of the other things they call that where you're, you're beaten and bloodied and a little scraped up. And uh, 
And basically the remedy when you're far away from any kind of a merge center or even a shopper's drug mart (laughs) is diesel and peas. You put some diesel uh, fuel on it and a frozen bag of peas and probably has the very same compounds you pay $22.50 for at the store. And and I thought, yes, that's exactly what I was looking for when I asked you what the name of the record was about. (laughs) Fantastic story. And it's true. I Uh, like your version, actually. Yeah, you can feel free to use that one. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, I have to say, it's like there's there's a message in every song, and a lot of songs are a bit arduous, and they get brought out, and and it's and it's and it can be blunt and gruesome, but you understand with the pageantry and the show that it's okay for someone to dance a little bit, move their ass, and still time, learn something, and some humanity, and some real lyrics. And we're gonna play uh, something off of the CD. Uh, this is uh, the Zipper. Do people want to know about Zipper or they just want to hear Zipper? Well, Zipper's a little sassy number, and uh, it was influenced by one of my one of my pals, actually, Paul Anthony, who was just on here not long ago with uh, Cash, yeah. uh, the Ultimate Johnny Cash tribute. But no, just take a listen. It, it's a, one of my favorite tunes. Here we go, right here, barbershoppodcast.com. <laughs> Right, a little bit of Ginger St. James, a little bit of something off of Diesel and Peas. That's Zipper. You can get that CD here, there, everywhere. Your website is www.gingerstjames.com. Www. Well, even ship you a signed copy. Yeah, and you can get it at the local record stores here in Hamilton, Ontario. I know at HamiltonArtist.ca, who is one of our great sponsors. Segwaying my way in there. They've got uh, Exile on King Street. You did a tune on that particular one. I only made like, I think, 93. We screwed a bunch up and I gave 65 of them away. So there was like 30 available and I still have like 11. So there's maybe 20 for sale in the world and I think there's two of them there. 
but uh, they feature all kinds of local music. They are the place to get all your printing done. That's hamiltonartist.ca. They print anything on anything. They're committed to helping small businesses, artists, and musicians. Uh, people will have your interests in mind. Musically themed, creative, will work with you on projects and ideas. I'm talking t-shirts, mugs, buttons, banners, anything you need printed, big and small. You can set up your own account there. You can uh, do your own orders without going in. If you do want to go in, they're right at the Delta at 1141 Main East at Balmoral. Um, you see what they've done. It's Hamilton's uh, number one store for creative fair and artist services. If you want some printing done, go see our friends at hamiltonartists.ca. We've got Ginger St. James and the Grinders in the room tonight. Ginger St. James, Snow Heel Slim, Greg Briscoe, and Tom Lamatange, who is uh, the drummer's drummer. It's like... Uh, Michael A.M., right? You know, I, I pronounce his name 17 different ways just in the one episode. Yeah, he's, he, said that that was a, he said that that was a record. And I said, I tried to put a little bit of effort into each and every version of your name, and you can pick one. And he said, no, there is one, and then you'll get it sooner or later. So we're okay. looking forward to that. We had him in here last weekend tracking for his new record. Uh, I love the talent in this town. Um, I love that we have Ginger St. James and the Grinders in here, and they're going to do another live one for you from the floor of Boxo Studio with heart and with all kinds of passion. Barbershoppodcast.com.
That is Ginger St. James, and that is live from Boxo Studio. I'm telling you, you can hear that on a regular basis. You just played Cat and Fiddle on Tuesday night. You play here, there, everywhere. What you got coming up in the immediate or near future? For anyone who does not know, it is Wednesday, uh, March 11th, 2015. Uh, going forward... Going forward, uh, well, something I'm really looking forward to is heading out west. We have a big tour going out there. And so. you are not afraid to tour this country, are you? No, bring it on. Come on, let's go. <laughs> You're an adventure queen. Yes, road warrior. Yeah, I want it. I want it to. Yeah. I want to see new places. I want to meet new people, and I, I, I love it. Yeah. So uh, we'll be heading out west uh, beginning April 11th. So Slim and I are going to hit the road together. Um, so that's going to be for five weeks, and I can't wait. I have never seen the Rocky Mountains. Oh, Can you believe it's, it? It's something else. Make the sure Canadian you got Rockies. I tranny fluid, or yeah. you got yours. I'm never going to leave. <laughs> I know. Well, it's, it's awesome. Duct tape. And, and what, I, what, what I remember, and I kind of did this, <coughs> like Northern Ontario blew me away when I drove over because I thought it would be all scrubland, and it's really gorgeous with the granite and the lakes, and it's like, it kind of blew me away. But when I drove out west for the first time, and you see the mountains, and you're like, and your jaw drops. Like six hours later, you're still doing that. You know, that's the thing that blew me away. It's just like you just, so yeah, and it's like the next lake is just more awesome than the last one. And you <laughs> go around the next corner, and it's such a treat to the eyes. Great country that we have here in Canada. So you're going to go out there, and uh, and you have got some, and I like this because you got to stitch together. It's like a um, follow the dots, right? But, yeah. And then you're like, I know I'm, I'm going to start here and end here, and I got this one, this one, this one, but what's in between is what's going to flesh out and make it an adventure, right? Oh, for sure. So, like, first off, our first stop, 22 hours away, will be in Thunder Bay. Thunder Bay Bay! Thunder Bay Bay! <laughs> I, think, I don't think they talk like that there. <laughs> but, if you, no. but if you roll in talking like that, if you roll yeah. in there talking like that, I guarantee you they will they'll Thunder start Bay. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, go to Thunder Bay, and then... Uh, Head over, <laughs> head over yonder to uh, Saskatoon and then Winnipeg, um, all the way out to. Uh, You're going nonstop Thunder Bay to Saskatoon. You got to have something in Marathon or Dryden or. I think we know. have a travel day. Yeah, I think yeah, we, yeah. I'm pretty sure we have a travel day, yeah. which is good. You are very good on the social media, so I'm sure you'll be like tossing the lures ahead. See. Oh, you, sure I will. I'll be like, what? Stop by. We'll play a house concert. Where are we? Where are you? Yeah, no, you were looking for the camper, and I thought, oh, there, that is a show, a TV show. If you could load that thing with it cameras, will still happen, and it's I'm like, get the you. camper going and load it with cameras. And say, this is going to be not only a tour, but it's going to be like the best reality show because, unlike other reality shows, it would actually be a reality show. For sure. And then in the thing, you would get, that's my gig tonight at Barney's Bar and Grill in, in here. But it's like real Barney's stories, Garage. real people, why music Literally. pulls us together. It's like, it's great. I really hope. Hope you do it. I like you people have the the bones to do that kind of shit. Not a lot of people do. I hand it to you. Uh, fantastico. I guess we're up. Uh, gonna play a uh, another one off of the CD. Uh, recording the CD. We talked about this before. It was like it was a relatively unpainful process for you. Um, I don't know, According Gary. To some. According to some. Some may say. But yeah, it's all relative <laughs> levels <laughs> sure of, of expensive pain in one <laughs> way or another. But Please, Mr. Driver kind of became uh, a little hallmark of this this record. Like uh, a lot of people really identified it and and loved the your uh, um, your your roots came out in the theatrical elements and the, and and again the pageantry and the burlesque. You know, like when you hear hearing Mr. Driver, I could see that as a soundtrack for a record, yeah, or for a movie. You know? Well, I don't know what. Well, Slim wrote it, and I definitely loved it, like right away. Yeah. So I don't know what was going From playing through his, his not, fantasy. Not me. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> if, if, if you wrote, there, yes. were, there, there were sparse and and I'd written like a really great little haiku that said a lot without a lot of words. Really good job, Mr. Snowheel Slim. Who you can see if you want to check out his band Boogie Infection there on Barbershop Podcast as well. That is another dose of another drug. <laughs> you know, you shouldn't limit yourself to one type of musical drug. You should get all kinds of them Bye searching all, through your system. It's good stuff. All right. Please, Mr. Driver, a beauty right here. Barbershoppodcast.com.
got no fear But I'm ready to go Cause all you need is me to help you Lighten up your Lord, please Mr. Driver Can you give a poor bill a ride? I've been thinking since morning I need to skip on out tonight Sweet sensation. My uh, my love for music and my love for Hamilton is legendary <laughs> to myself and others. And the sort of things that happen on a regular basis or an accidental basis all come together in their cosmic understanding of what is so great about the random and the planned. Um, we are experiencing a wonderful ginger St. James sensation tonight. It has been buoyed by the participation of these fine gents. They are playing with pride and prejudice, and they're going to give you a nice slab of it right now, live from barbershoppodcast.com. Can't 
furious. Ginger St. James is furious at Barbershop Podcast. Boxo Studio, the place where it happens every Wednesday for 100 and 20 weeks 120 you know you've got to like it when it's been going on that long i don't know if i've done anything for 120 weeks in a row well yeah, i guess i have <laughs> the, yeah wow wow i do not want to go there where i do want to go though is shenanigans ryan we love shenanigans we love to get up to shenanigans they're one of our great sponsors and we had some of their fine pizza tonight boys was that not good pizza did everyone enjoy the pizza yes we feed musicians they are usually torn between three here there everywhere what they're not usually doing is sitting down and eating and unfortunately that's why they look so good on stage because they're so skinny you know but you have to eat. You have to eat pizza. And James and the gut suckers. And the gut suckers, like each and every one of us. Because that works for the first 25 years, and then the barley and the pizza add up. But it, it was delicious pizza, and we want to talk about shenanigans. They are our friends. And if you ever went to Delta High School, that's the place across the street. I don't know what it was called then. It was DiMaggio's. It was Mother's. It was the old Mother's, you know, in the old days. And Ronnie Jeans. But now it's shenanigans. Kev and uh, Cass run the place. They've bought the whole block up. It's going to turn into Entertainment Center. Uh, it is like it used to be in the, in the 80s and 90s. It's old school Hamilton. It's not a music club. They're not into what we do here, but they're into what's original and what's Hamilton and what's unique and what's independent. A lot of teenagers you, smoking. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you, but you, you, know, you want to play darts. You want to watch the game. You want to play pool. You want to get some 375 pints. You want to get some two pounds of wings for 11 bucks. Yeah, I didn't bother now we're connecting, right? Now you know what I'm talking about. Get some shenanigans on. They are at 1305 Main Street or East, the corner of Houghton Avenue and Main. Like I said, across from Delta High School, they have weekly specials. Uh, the food is fantastic. If you're a vegetarian, they actually, you know, a lot of it's fried, but it's actually fresh made stuff fried, not stuff in a bag. Fried, it is good. They are good people. I could go on and on, but... Suffice to say, they are friends of us. We are friends of theirs. Shenanigans. Uh, go visit them. 1305 Main Street East in Hamilton, Ontario. Ginger, St. James, and the Grinders are in the house tonight. It is a live performance showcasing just the kind of talent we have here in Hamilton, Ontario, and surrounding areas. Showcasing what we can do technologically now. The kind of fertile brain of Ryan Cannon and the a certain amount of uh, shtick that I'm able to provide and uh, a studio such as this, which uh, I've dubbed the Rat Rod Rocket Ship. Uh, a little bit of the past, a little bit of the future. Everyone has to be independent and self-sufficient these days, but you have to rely on a community. You have to rely on the good mojo. And you certainly find that in the musical community. We're going to give you another big taste of it right here. Live music is what we do. Uh, Ginger St. James provides it on a regular basis. You're going to hear some of it now. I implore you to go out and support the venues that support live music. Get some in your system. Get something good like this right here. Barbershoppodcast.com. City called Country Bumpkin. Woo!
Not by accident. Barbershop Podcast. Every Wednesday. 120 weeks of greatness. You know, when we started this, we thought there would be magicians and actors and all sorts of creative types. But we can't get away from the music. We just can't. It's deep. That well is deep. And when you realize how few people have straws long enough to reach the well, it's sad. So... This is your free opportunity to see what live original music sounds like. Pretty awesome. You can't go wrong. <laughs> Love the pizza at shenanigans, I tell you. All right, Ginger St. James is in the house. She's got a record that you need to buy. It's called Diesel and Peas. You can get it at gingerstjames.com. That's right. Wow, imagine that. And you can get that. By Googling it, the internet will lead you. It's like if you actually said, Siri, I want to buy Ginger St. James uh, diesel and peas and pay cash money, she'll probably tell you how to do that. So there's no excuse that I couldn't find it. This world is a roadmap giving you directions on how to get a hold of this record. It's great. We're going to play another track off it. Um, and... Uh, Beer Bottle Pockets, uh, it's a story that you wrote when you were... Um, yeah, I mean, I was in Toronto and I was broke. But you were Poe. I was Poe. Poe. Yeah, I was like... M- musician, was musician living in Toronto, Poe. And yeah. it, you, you can be Poe in Hamilton and then Poe in Toronto. It's like, oh my God, everything is so oh, yeah. so expensive. Lucky, lucky I had friends there to help me along. Yeah. But, uh, but again, I, I look at this song as something that tells a story that a lot of us have lived. There's, uh, uh, there's a, you're telling your, your story and you're doing it with strength and dignity and humor. And that is something that sometimes is lost on people. Uh, I love musical content. I worship the songwriter, understand their significance in society. And I listen to a song like Beer Bottle Pockets, and I'm someone who understands it. That it has to move someone's butt before it moves their mind. You know, it has to move their butt at least 14 times before they even get to the, the understanding the second verse, right? I mean, it's lucky, a good song to drink beer to because it, you're just going to burn calories anyway. It is. But it's, it, 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 it kind of it kinda hits at the end of the day. I liked it when I first heard it. I like it now. You're going to like it. Beer Bottle Pockets, Ginger St. James, Barbershop Podcast.
Ginger St. James. You can get her CD right here. Uh, you can't get it from me because I'm not giving it up. But you can get it from the interweb or you can get it from Dr. Disc or um, Crash, Landing, Crash Landing. We love them. Uh, a sponsor of one time of ours. So they're at Cannon and Ottawa. Love Suzanne and Crash. Uh, and I imagine it's also at uh, Cheapies. You know, you're working with cheapies. They got any of they these? Have Dr. Disc and Crash Landing. And Crash Landing. All that right. is it. And, hey, or and website. A web or the website. website. Bandcamp. That's happening. iTunes. But, iTunes. But I mean, Amazon, Spotify. Yeah. I mean, go. have some of this. Put this in your car. It's summertime is coming soon. You're going to want to have this blasting through the window of your car when the windows are open and you're actually driving out and experiencing life. Experiencing a bit of life. Uh, I want to talk about one of our sponsors. Uh, it's uh, an intimate friend of Gary Greenland, our sound man. It is his lover, woman, who does our taxes, does Ryan's taxes. She's, uh, you know, worked with bands for years, so understands how to get the tax man off of the band or off of the musician's back and maximize every single dollar. She does personal tax returns for 25 bucks. She is a friend of the people. She's a friend of ours, and we're talking about taxes done right, uh, fully prepared, professional tax returns, uh, year-round bookkeeping available if you want that done, completely confidential, successfully uh, completed all the tax preparation courses like three years ago. Keeps abreast of all of the recent tax changes. 25 bucks, as I said, personal tax return. Refunds over $500, uh, flat 5% fee. If you say, you know what, I heard this on Box, oh, uh, on the Barbershop Podcast or I'm a client of Boxo Studio, uh, you're going to get a preferential pricing agreement. Okay, we're talking a good deal. Say five bucks off the twenty-five dollar rate, or pay four percent of anything over four hundred bucks, and you never know; it could add up. It's nice in somebody, something you've been dreading forever. So you hand all the paperwork to them, and then they're like, "Oh, here's twenty-six hundred dollars." It's like I could so use a new guitar. Yes, because that's what tax returns are about. It used to be before Stephen Harper screwed it up and made us take tiny little checks instead of one big guitar all at once. <laughs> instead, it's a Long and McQuaid payment, and it's just not the same. But you know what is the same to music? The musical quality and the real, original, live music. Every week at Barbershop Podcast, Ginger St. James and the Grinders are in here. They're going to give us another taste of it. How lucky am I? How lucky are you tonight and forever? Because it's on the internet. Barbershoppodcast.com. <laughs> so high, I gotta take off my clothes, can't take it anymore, I think I'm gonna explode, you make my panties drop, you hit the spot, let's go, 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 to my boom, boom room, yeah. Cause I can't stop loving you ooh, ooh, ooh. I'll tease you, deceive you with my lipstick lips And show you how I like my loving with the move of my hips I'll keep you smiling while you're crying from the shivering fits Go on and drop your drawers and hit the floor I'm back again
beautiful song. Yes, in the boom boom room where you want to be on a regular basis, emotionally if not physically. We're here with Barbershop Podcast and Ginger St. James bringing the grinders to bear. Really good week, really good music. Proud to be representing Hamilton. This week when the eyes are on Hamilton, uh, looks to be, you know, I have to admit, in the old days people would use Hamilton and Cops Coliseum as a place to shoot a show and then they'd rush back to Toronto for the party afterwards. And it looks like there's been a concerted effort to keep the party here in Hamilton this week. And although everything may not be perfect, I give a thumbs up and appreciation that music is starting to be appreciated. Mind you, it is not strictly an economic indicator. It is not, you know, it is not there to sell beer, okay? Music should be a passion and love, and beer should be something that you are also in love with and passionate about (laughs) while you enjoy your passion for music. Um, Sometimes I feel music is like the painted lady in the window in an Amsterdam whorehouse and that it is you know really used and abused the musicians themselves are not taken care of they are seen as something that is brilliant and excitable and interesting to get someone through the door when you can start to be fleeced and yet it's the honesty and integrity and originality of the music that brings them there in the first place and quite often the musicians are ignored or treated poorly um Monday morning after the Junos, let's hope that there's a few people who understand what we have here in Hamilton and appreciate what we have here in Hamilton and support what we have here in Hamilton after all the fireworks. Here, here. Thank you. I love it, but I hate it. Just like people, you know. I love people. I can hate them, but I love them. It's not good to hate anything, but... The potential for humanity is unrivaled. The potential for music is unrivaled. And I feel privileged. People tell me, thank you, Kevin, for doing this, what you're doing. You're bringing music to people who otherwise wouldn't hear it, the type of musicians who wouldn't have a voice. And I say, you're doing me a favor. You know, absolutely. Every week coming in here and testifying and being honest uh, with your integrity and your passions and clearly a lifetime of a dedication uh, to a craft I see people in the top 1% of what they do. And in any other business, they are rewarded handsomely. And in this business, it just gets you into a boxing match with someone's ego. And, and, and the priorities don't seem to be aligned. But I have hope because like my dad, who I love, was a chemical engineer, right? And we grew up where it is the first place we worked, P&G. Like, we lived there. He worked for Procter & Gamble. Then he worked for Nestle's, right? And he was just this benign guy who just worked for it. Now I see him as Mangala, for Christ's sake, you know, because it's, <laughs> it's like food was seen as something that you could break down into chemical components and make it transportable and make it so it didn't go bad and make it so you could do it. And, then, you know, like the priorities of what food was about, about family getting together and sharing and nourishing not only the soul but the body was taken away. Way. We like we were looking at the wrong thing, and now finally the view on food is coming around. And the same fucking thing has happened to music, where it became music, then it became the music business, and it became the music industry. And more and more, why people are attracted to music has ripped out of it as it kind of came along. And I'm grateful that you guys came in here and sustain me as we do every week. We got Likewise. a great we got a great video. Uh, something and then it's a great thing about Barbershop Podcast. If you have a video and you're on here, we will spin it. And you got one called Lonely Crying. Um, a story that goes with it or is it self explanatory? Uh, well actually well, this is a cool little rendition video of this song. We have a lot of live versions of it, but this was filmed up in Peterborough with uh Slim and I's duo royale that we're actually gonna go out west with. So yeah, it's just a I don't know, just a kind of hard icky song. And yeah, if so, if you are someone who's in the parts of Canada who sees Ginger and Slim coming your way over the next few months, and they may be a duo and it may be in a roadside coffee house, it's an opportunity that you won't miss, and they're going to sound and look kind of like this right here at barbershoppodcast.com. <laughs>
crazy over you can I do know that you're gone I've been drinking since you left me wishing you loved me but you don't Lonely, crying, Ginger St. James, little video, little audio, something live, something and something you can take home, put in your car. Love it. Love real music. Love real people. Love barbershop podcasts. Tell your people, tell your friends, tell your enemies for all I care. It's the real deal. It ain't going nowhere. Every week, it's good. Love you.